Welcome back to Japan. As you can see, I am up well before sunrise. Hey everybody, good morning from Kyoto. So there's a couple of places in the world that photographers want to have images in their portfolio. We're about to capture them. We're gonna go into the bamboo forest here in Kyoto. Despite heading into what looks like a dark forest, this is a place where iconic photos are made. Before we enter the forest, I wanna thank my viewers like Lisa Colton, Nisi Shimara, and Anna Casanova. I appreciate your support and I invite all of you to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell icon. Please feel free to leave a comment or two. As we enter the bamboo forest, we are teased by the spectacular colors that are about to flood this region. Sorry for some of the video quality, but the sun has not yet risen and the canopy of the bamboo is thick. Alright, we're going to start here. We've got a nice hill going up but it's very dark so this is definitely going to be a tripod moment so i came out here very early in the morning because this place is going to get crowded with a lot of people so coming out here we well not only is it dark so i can keep a long exposure so anybody who is out here kind of gets blurred out but also there's less chance of me having to uh wait on people to get out of the images so this park is quite big so make sure you take your time to explore it let's go ahead and capture another really cool image this is almost like being in a canyon of bamboo a tripod is a must here even though the sun is now up, it is dark here in the forest. You need the tripod to keep a low ISO and clear, sharp images. We're going to give the sun a little more time to rise and explore the adjacent Kamehameha Park. Apparently, we need to be on the lookout for Donkey Kong Jr. So guys, I got this beautiful scene behind me right now. We're exploring the area around the bamboo forest while the sun continues to get a little bit higher. Uh, one thing about doing panos is that with the light constantly changing, it can be difficult. Take a look at this pano. On the left is when the sun was out. On the right is when it went behind the clouds. So you might have to be a little patient when capturing panoramas with cloudy weather like this, but it can be worth it. Well, this is a point where I want the sun to come out. Uh, we there is some color starting to happen on the trees but we're just we're just about two weeks too early to really get the vibrant stuff i can just imagine how brilliant the color will be on this hillside when the uh, fall colors finally do arrive so make sure you check out the locations newsletter i'll show you exactly where this point is at on the map so you can come up here and see this place yourself down here these people i don't know if they understand how lucky they have it this is an incredible tranquil area that we're in right now on the other side of this uh, mountain we're on is Kyoto but over here it is perfectly quiet um, I can actually hear the water rushing down below it's so quiet here one thing though of course look out for the monkeys we're keeping an eye out for them we're hoping to see some monkeys um, but uh, yeah we're also keeping a close eye on our stuff so the monkeys don't come and take our stuff we decide to head down some stairs and see if there are any shots to take along the river. What we did find was the usual assortment of vending machines. What goes down must come back up. Again, the splash of color makes me wish that I was here a few weeks later. Alright, so guys, what I'm doing here... The crowds are starting to come in, so got to hurry. We're back here at the bamboo forest, shooting very low to the ground right now, so that I can really get a dramatic view of how tall these uh, stalks of bamboo are. Careful, believe it or not, this is actually a street, not just a footpath. 
All right, everybody, thanks for watching. That's it from the Bamboo Forest. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and of course, consider adopting a shelter animal or donating to your local animal shelter. And I'll see you all in the next adventure here in Japan. For those of you on my expedition team at patreon.com forward slash EWJ, we are going to capture a few more images and head for breakfast.